What's going on guys? It's your boy and the Matrix. I'm back with another video and Are you guys even gonna bother getting the Nintendo Switch 2? You know Like are you guys even going to get the Nintendo Switch 2 because thus far like the only reason I see playing the Nintendo Switch 2 is if you're like a Pokemon fan, a Zelda, basically the original Nintendo intellectual properties like Pokemon, Zelda, Mario. If you're that type of gamer, then yeah, the Nintendo Switch 2 is a, it's definitely something you want to get. However, aside from that, it seems like a lot of things are really, really, really moving towards uh, PC gaming. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take a look at some of the specs that uh, that are rumored to come to the Nintendo Switch 2. I am here on Reddit. Right, and according to, uh, well, here, it says gaming leaks and rumors. Here on Reddit says Universal Nintendo says that the final Switch 2 hardware will feature 12 gigabytes of RAM. A ray tracing the Matrix demo used DLSS 3.1. I don't know what that means, and, and not a 3.5 initially reported by VGC Video Games uh, Chronicles. So it's gonna have. So it's saying that it's gonna have 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is like your average. I mean, a, a 12 gigabytes of RAM that would be like the PlayStation 4, I guess. And that would be like an old school, like an old computer from like the mid two thousand, the mid twenty tens, like two thousand fifteen, two thousand fourteen, right? Hello, this is Yami Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh, and make sure to subscribe to Andy Major Six channel. Now on with the show. That's the type of computer that it would be. <clears throat> So, as far as RAM, it's, it looks like it's pretty powerful. As far as the processor, we don't really know yet. Uh, we all know that the best processors for gaming are created by AMD. Right? And it, we also see here that the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to have a it's going to have an Nvidia, you know, graphics chip which is the Nvidia new uh, T T239 processor. Oh, this so this is the processing chip. So the grand the next gen Tegra for Switch 2. So I was looking some information about this processing chip for the Nintendo Switch and it's, it's actually very promising. I mean, it's, you know, because you got to remember, it's considered a mobile device. So this is for like smaller devices. You know, this is pretty, it's pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. It, uh, it look, looks pretty dope. And then it says, this is from form a couple of months ago. It says the Taiwanese Economic Forum reports the Nintendo Switch 2 will have a 120 hertz screen improved battery life but only eight gigabytes of ram and only 64 gigabytes of storage now i mean come on the original nintendo switch only had what like 35 gigabytes of storage four and then four gigabytes of ram i don't know what, what kind of hurts but the battery life for the nintendo switch was about three to four hours on average yeah three to four hours which was good and that was for most games. Like I played, you know, Zelda Breath of the Wild. It gave me about three, three hours, a little, or sometimes a little over three hours. But it's supposed to have a longer battery life, right? And um, honestly, looking at the specs, according to the rumors thus far, and it's confirmed that it's going to have the T239 processor. Even still, it is not going to be any match for the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is still going to be a much better system. <laughs> even the low tier, right? Even the low tier, you know, the Steam Deck has more gigabytes. I mean, it has 256 gigabytes, for God's sakes. A low tier Steam Deck at four, uh, $400, 250 gigabytes of storage, right? And uh, what's a Wi Fi 5? 40 watts of hour. So it's a, supposed to have two to eight hours of, of battery life. Two to eight hours, depending on what type of game you're playing. Right? On average, I mean, if you're playing like a PS4 game, that's going to be like, you're probably only get like about three hours. So about, about the same time. So I guess the battery life, it really depends on the Nintendo Switch, you know, what type of game you're playing. Same thing with the Steam Deck, what type of game you're playing. 
But still, the computing power of the Steam Deck is so much better. So I am wondering, because Nintendo, I'm pretty sure they're looking at all this information. Right, the gigabytes from other devices, even from like the Asus ROG, you know, the... If, if we go down here, if we look at the specs, you know, the, the Steam Deck has 16 gigabytes of RAM. 16 gigabytes of RAM. And the storage can go from 250 to 1,000. And I'm guessing for the Nintendo Switch, you won't be able to add more than like 250 gigabytes of storage. So what is Nintendo thinking? It's like every other device out there, modern in modern day, is almost as, it's almost as good or even better than what we're getting here. I mean, come on, eight gigabytes of RAM? Unless they're planning on having some type of like, you know, second option, like maybe like the first option is gonna be the eight gigabyte RAM, the second option is gonna be 12 gigabytes of RAM, you know? But what are they thinking? It's like, are they not like, you know, do they not care? I mean, yeah, it is double. It is the eight gigabytes RAM is double the original of, of what the uh, Nintendo Switch Four, excuse me, the Nintendo Switch had originally four gigabytes of RAM. But you know, in today's world, you need at least sixteen gigabytes of RAM to run the average video game on PC. So it really does make me wonder. Like maybe. Maybe they're not planning on being a, a, a high graphics console like most, like, you know, like most consoles, because that's basically where everything's headed. Then again, at the same time, you got to remember that the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo has always been a fun, a fun console game first. So it's never been about graphics with Nintendo. But still, uh, the Steam Deck is better. I don't have a Steam Deck because I have a gaming laptop, but the Steam Deck is way better. And I don't see a lot of reasons to get a Nintendo Switch. The only reason why the Nintendo Switch is still relevant is because exclusivity. It has locked in, right? It has locked in exclusivity that, you know, you cannot play, you cannot play certain Nintendo games anywhere else. Not on the, not on some, you know, streaming platform, not on the PlayStation, Xbox, nowhere else. Unless you're pirating it. Because, for example, Super Mario, Kirby, Yoshi, Pokemon, they're only available on Nintendo. Zelda, only available on Nintendo. Um, you know, there's just a lot of titles, in Nint original Nintendo titles, that you, can, you will only ever find on the Nintendo Switch. That being said, I do see some PlayStation 4 games coming over to Nintendo Switch, like Final Fantasy VII Remake. You know, that'll be a doozy. That'll be that'll be dope to see it on, on the Nintendo Switch. So, yeah, man. I don't know. I, I'm not really interested in getting it. I'm not much of a Pokemon person anymore. I'm not really... Maybe... But, see, that's a problem. I, I want a device that you can buy and play a whole bunch of games in it. Because if you're only interested in playing Zelda Breath of the Wild on the, on the new Nintendo Switch, then... You're, think about it. You're paying four hundred dollars to play one game, <laughs> four hundred and sixty dollars at that. I don't know. Um, this is why I became a PC gamer. Just more options, for God's sakes. But whatever your thoughts are, make sure to comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. Everybody, it's your boy Andy Matrix. Godspeed, baby.